crazy photo. How to create a design like this, sort of spinning tentacle, weird, surreal, manga-like design. Well, what you can do, create a brush. So let's just remove that. Key thing is, go for the ellipse tool. Of course, you could use other shapes. Create a design there, very basic design, and fill it with a gradient, any kind of gradient. Simply click up here, go to swatches, and apply a gradient. I'm going for a radial gradient. You could, of course, use linear, etc. What you can also do is you can duplicate this design. Select the Move tool, then press Return. Press Return on the keyboard, and you'll get this panel pop up. You can then duplicate this. So go to Duplicate, and then set it to, say, 7 or 8. Make it a fairly small number. And then change the vertical, and make it go down, say, about there. So 90 or so. And what you can then do is you can go to the scale and you can reduce it down and you can reduce it down to say 80%. So that one's obviously very small at the bottom. Then click OK. You'll notice you've got lots and lots of layers. Select all of those shapes. Once you've done that, go to the layers panel, right click, and then you can group them. Reason for that is now I can rasterize them. So I'm just going to rasterize. You could also add some 3D effects, maybe a shadow, etc. as well, via the layer styles. So just go down to rasterize, and now it's a single pixel layer. Then go over here to brushes, you can find that in the window menu. Go to the right side menu over here, and click there, and new brush from selection. And now you see you've got this brush. And you can edit it. So let's just remove this one. Now I don't need this, so just deselect that. Double click, and now you can see the design. Go to the over here to the panel and select B. You want the keyboard and select the paintbrush tool. With that, you can also change the spacing. So let's just reduce that down to about three or four percent, up to you, maybe even one percent. And also you can modify the size. And then you can change the rotation, but you can also go to dynamics and you can change the size jitter, maybe make it about 35, 40%. You can also go for rotation. You can see random ends up a bit of a mess and you can apply it now, just try it. Now you'll notice there's no layer that you can access. I actually just applied it to that one, which is odd. What you can do, go to layer and new layer and now apply it to the proper new layer there. And you can see the effect there. Very quick way of filling the entire layer with all kinds of dots. But you can undo. And what you can then do is go here and select instead of random, you go for cyclic. And cyclic generates this kind of effect. You can modify it further by clicking here, the profiles, go for different profiles, maybe something like that. You can try them out, vary them, just change this, and that will change the setting there to create all kinds of unique designs. So let's just apply that, and you can see the result of that. And because of the small and big, you can see it creates an interesting sort of tentacle-like effect very quickly. Also, we can do, go down here to Hue Jitter, and then it's filled with loads of random color designs. And again, apply it like that, fill the entire screen with those. But also what you can do, just go here, random, cyclic, it's all cyclic, cyclic is very useful. You can modify it using these profiles. So click there and select different profiles or maybe just go with linear and so on. And once you've got that, you can then close it and now apply it. So let's just apply and you can see as I apply that, it creates all these twisting and turning, spinning designs very rapidly across the image. Now you can also, I'm using an art pad and pen, but you can also just use a mouse. I'm using a mouse now. And you can see the result of using the mouse to create this design. Very quick and easy to create a very surreal, sort of manga-influenced design in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.